So essentially, um, just to give a little bit of history here, a couple of weeks ago, the SEC, Gensler in particular, and Jerome Powell from the Fed both stated that they felt that the space needed regulation in terms of the cryptocurrency space, but they essentially also said that they wouldn't stop the progress, which means they kind of green-lighted it. So it's not a big surprise to find out right on the heels of that comes up with this ProShares ETF to trade futures through BITO. So the disadvantage of that is that it trades not the spot month of future, but it trades one of the back months. You know, in futures, like when we used to trade oil, you had the spot month, whatever the current month was, and then you had the months thereafter. So you could be trading, if we're in October, you could be trading November futures, December, January, et cetera. And then there were relationships with that, which we're not gonna get into, but they call contango is one of, one of the words to use. So what this BITO essentially, once the contract of not the spot month, which never expires, cause that just keeps rolling. But once you go one of the further out months, in a commodity, it expires. And when it expires, you have to liquidate or roll into the next month. So some are saying that that's a disadvantage because it basically sort of stops and starts again, which is why we have Valkyrie now coming out with uh, another ETF. That's going to go live on Wednesday. Uh, that's going to be BTFD, which is, if you know the acronym on Twitter, it's a pretty funny name. And Grayscale, which is the over-the-counter... GBTC ETF, that's also now talking about doing a spots future. So that's the sort of disadvantage. The advantage is, of course, that it now opens up the ability for people to trade with SEC blessing an ETF that does give you exposure to Bitcoin. I think all futures have risk and fundamentals can change on a dime. <clears throat> In terms of Bitcoin, there are fundamentals because obviously there's adoption more and more. And then you have sort of ancillary type of influences like, for example, interactive brokers, which are now allowing registered investment advisories to have a part of their portfolio in cryptocurrency. And then, of course, there's the whole mining fundamental, which has now been taken from China and starting to mine more in the United States. So there are influences in terms of Bitcoin itself, it is a store of value. But yes, does it look different? It's mined. There is definitely a, a sense of scarcity there in terms of how much is mined. It's not mined, though, with Mother Nature. And although it is, in a sense, because it does use, it does have a carbon footprint. So it's totally different animal in a sense. But the thing I really want to focus on the most is that with some price history, it's very technical. And I think that's the biggest thing that people have going for it. If they take a little bit of time to try to figure out how to look at a chart and understand moving averages and understanding support and resistance, understanding volume patterns. The big differentiation between, let's say, a gold and a Bitcoin is that we know in advance how much Bitcoin is going to be mined, whereas something like gold or wheat or soybeans are going to have seasonal factors involved. This is already sort of predetermined in terms of it, which really makes it like a commodity. It's already having an impact. So, for example, Ethereum, which is trying to hold over 3,800, is close to taking out 4,000. I don't think if this was happening to Bitcoin, that would necessarily be the case with Ethereum. Even when Ethereum outperforms, there's still, like I said, this sort of granddaddy sense of Bitcoin. And then, you know, we're looking at all these other coins as well. Not all of them are going to act in kind. And some coins just go up because some 20-year-old says he likes it. It goes viral and it goes up. That happens all the time. But in terms of the, the top ones, if we're looking at Solana and Cardano and, uh, you know, we're still looking at XRP because we still think that that's going to have a big push up at some point when the SEC so, so, lawsuit settles. By the way, as an aside, it's the it's the currency of choice in the UK right now. Um, and so it's really 
getting traction. So I, yes, I think that that's going to have a positive impact, not just on that, but all the companies that are related to Bitcoin, like your PayPal's and MicroStrategies and Overstocks and all these other companies um, that I'm going to try to rattle off of the top of my head, um, that, that Ma Marathon being another one, uh, Hut being a mining company, all of these things are going to do well. Now, that doesn't mean there'll be divergences. And an interesting question I got today on another uh, channel that I did to discuss this was, would you hedge, like let's say short a company and buy the coin? These are relationships that will emerge just like they do in commodities, but we're in infancy on that right now. So for now, suffice to say, if Bitcoin's doing well, you can pretty much anticipate. I would encourage some level of price history to be established before you just sort of jump in. And I like to use COIN when that came out, C-O-I-N as a perfect example. I've got met with all the enthusiasm that we saw today with Vito that we'll probably see when Valkyrie launches and when eventually we see something with Grayscale launching a spot future. But it then immediately went down and took a while, a few months to establish this base at 200 and then once it broke through a key support, you didn't miss anything. You were still able to get in now with some price history and a risk. And now as we're talking, Jackie, it's trading at around 300. So there's always gonna be money to be made. So I would say to people, don't get into FOMO, fear of missing out, because the opportunity presents all the time. As a futures trader, I can tell you that things come back, things correct, there's another product, there's another thing to do, and just really make sure you under have some modicum of understanding before you get involved. With that said, be excited, because you can now get involved and feel a lot more comfortable about it. <music>